Hello and welcome to the Rule 21 video. Rule 21 focuses on the definitions for the entire lights and shapes section. It's going to be very important that you fully understand these definitions before you go on to the next video because as we continue deeper into the lights and shapes section, you're going to be more confused if you don't fully understand it. So get your notepad ready and let's jump right in. Rule 21A states that the term mass headlight means a white light placed over the fore and aft center line of the vessel, showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 225 degrees and so fixed as to show the light from right ahead to 22.5 degrees abaft the beam on either side of the vessel. So what this means is that all vessels shall have a light placed on the center line of the vessel. So let's take a look at this diagram and this diagram illustrates what the rule is referring to. The light needs to have an arc of visibility of 225 degrees. Then the second part states that the light must be visible from 22 and a half degrees above the beam. So this simply means that you can see the light from 22 and a half degrees behind the beam of the vessel. Rule 21B states that the term side lights means a green light on the starboard side and a red light on the port side, each showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 112.5 degrees and so fixed as to show the light from right ahead to 22 and a half degrees abaft the beam on its respective side. In a vessel of less than 20 meters in length, the side lights may be combined into one lantern carried on the fore and aft center line of the vessel. So again, let's take a look at the diagram and, and review what this rule is saying. So it's, it's stating that all vessels must have a green and red light with the green light on the starboard side and the red light on the port side. So the diagram here shows the vessel and the green and red side lights and their placement. The rule also states that the lights need to have an arc of visibility of 112.5 degrees. The rule then goes on to say that the light from the side lights needs to be visible from 22 and a half degrees abaft the beam. This means that you could see the lights from 22 and a half degrees behind the beam of the boat. Now, if you notice, this is the exact amount that you could see the mass headlight. And the last part of the rule states that a vessel less than 20 meters can display the lights in one lantern. So this means that the lights can be together on the bow of the vessel. When the lights are displayed like this, they come in one unit uh, with the green and red light housed in one fixture. Well, 21C states that the term stern light means a white light placed as nearly as practicable at the stern, showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 135 degrees and so fixed as to show the light 67 and a half degrees from right aft on each side of the vessel. Okay, so let's take a look at this diagram here. And what this means is that all the vessels, they must have a light on their stern. Okay, so this light is called the stern light and the light must have an arc of visibility of 135 degrees. The next part of the rule states that the light needs to be visible from 67 and a half degrees from right aft on each side of the vessel. So the reason for this is because the arc of visibility from your stern light will butt up against the arc of visibility from your side lights. This is what we spoke about in the overtaking rule. If you go back and you remember that. So this is going to allow you to understand from which angle you are approaching that vessel at night. So if you're approaching and you see only the stern light, you know that you're coming from the rear. Now, if you're approaching and you can see the side light and the mass headlight, this allows you to determine that you're approaching in a crossing situation. Rule 21D states that a towing light means a yellow light having the same characteristics as the stern light defined in paragraph C of this rule. So let's take a look at this diagram. And this diagram shows you what the rule is stating. The towing light can also be visible from 135 degrees, which is the same as the stern light. The only difference is that the towing light is yellow in color. And this is going to allow you to identify when you're approaching a vessel and that they're engaged in a tow. Rule 21E states that an all round light means a light showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 360 degrees. Again, so let's take a look at this diagram. This one's going to be an easy one to remember because the name states that it is an all round light. So when you see this, 
it clearly indicates that you can see this light and this light needs to be visible from 360 degrees. This light allows your vessel to be identified no matter what angle the approaching vessel is coming towards your vessel at. Rule 21F states that a flashing light means a light flashing at regular intervals at a frequency of 120 flashes or more per minute. So this one is pretty self-explanatory, but the one important call out that I really want you to remember with the flashing light is that the flashing light needs to be flashing at a frequency of 120 flashes or more per minute. This is gonna be very important for you to remember that in the final exam, because when I took the final exam, there were questions that had the flashing light, but the definition that they gave was not 120 flashes per minute. So. If you see a true and false question and it's 120 flashes or 130, 150, that would be true. But if it's 110, that would be false. So put a star next to that one. Make sure you learn that flashing light, 120 flashes per minute or greater. So congratulations on making it to the end of the Rule 21 video. Now, like I told you at the beginning, this is going to be extremely important for you to understand all of these definitions and the arc of visibility for every one of these lights. So once you get to the final exam, there's going to be a lot of questions around the arc of visibility of these lights. And this is extremely important because like we mentioned in rule 19, when you're navigating in restricted visibility, or at night, which is restricted visibility, you have to fully understand when you see the lights of another vessel, is that vessel approaching you? Are you approaching them? Are you approaching them in a crossing situation? This is why these lights are extremely important that you understand all of these definitions and the arc of visibility. This diagram shows you all of the lights that we covered in this rule, along with their names and the arc of visibility for each light. So take a minute, pause the video, take a picture of it or a screenshot so that you can use this when studying for your final exam. All right, that one page should really help you see everything combined on, on one location when you're studying. I know that when I was studying, that really helped me out a lot. So study the, all of your notes really hard Make sure you learn all of the definitions and the arc of visibility. And when you're ready, I'll be waiting for you in the next video.